Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our videos where, we're where we were dif discussing about the human reproductive system. We have discussed the male and the female reproductive system. We have discussed the hormonal control in males and the females. Now from this video on, we are going to start with the next step in, f in males that is spermatogenesis. We'll, in this video, this is an introductory video to spermatogenesis. We'll talk about the two phases of spermatogenesis. In our next video, we'll do the detailed phases of spermatogenesis and then we'll start with the oogenesis and the other uh, 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 topics in a sequence. Now, starting up with spermatogenesis, first of all, I'll just brief you about the uh, different types of breeders. Fine. So, we have seasonal breeders. Now, what do you mean by seasonal breeders? If we talk about humans, humans are the breeders which can breed 24, you know, uh, every in every time of the year. But in case of seasonal breeders, they have particular reproductive phases in which they interbreed. And then after that, they are, uh, they, they can't breed. For example, uh, we'll take the example of bats here. For example, bats are the seasonal breeders. Now, what happens in seasonal breeders during the breeding season during the breeding season the testes descend out into the scrotum and they again move inside the abdomen after the breeding season has stopped they shrink in size and they move inside the abdominal region of the uh, breeding uh, of the seasonal breeders. Uh, after breeding season, testes move in abdominal cavity. Fine. So these are about seasonal breeders. Then we have certain most of the organisms in which the testes they are extra abdominal. Extra abdominal testes. Most common example humans, cats, lions, horses, just name it. Lions, horses. Then we have a few where the testes are intra-abdominal. They are not descending out in the, in the scrotum. Example are dolphins and elephants. Fine. So these are the, this is the general introduction about the types of breeders, the seasonal breeders, the ones which have extra abdominal testes and the ones which have intra abdominal testes. Now we are going to start with the, the introduction to spermatogenesis. I'll just introduce you to the different phases because uh, the detailing is quite very long. So it will take a separate video for the detailing. Spermatogenesis, just make a line. Spermatogenesis basically completes in two phases. One is spermatogenesis completes in two phases. One is formation of, of spermatids and the second one is spermiogenesis. When now, if I say uh, formation of spermatids, the spermatids, they are round structures. They do not look like sperms. They are not, they don't have that head, middle piece and tail. They are just rounded structures, spermatids. And in spermiogenesis, spermatids are converted or transformed or matured into the sperms. They take that proper shape. They take that those proper division and an elongated shape that is spermiogenesis. Now when we talk about the first phase formation of spermatids formation of spermatids basically it takes place in three phases that is multiplication phase 
growth phase and maturation phase fine the uh, secondary uh, so, uh, secondary spermatocyte of the germ cells will detail in detail we'll be explaining that will be more clear to you it takes place now where does it take place it takes place in seminiferous tubules what happens the germ cells we have we know that in sperm, uh, seminiferous tubules if we see so these are the germ cells the serotoli cells and the germ cells so these one out of these uh, germ cells it will uh, start undergoing the process of spermatogenesis where it will undergo multiplication phase then the growth phase and the maturation phase to finally form the uh, primary spermatocyte or the or you can say to form the spermatid fine after undergoing these three phases phases the spermatid is formed but that spermatid is rounded in structure has a nucleus but needs to mature needs to become motile which is done in the next phase the next phase now the next phase is spermiogenesis Now what happens? The spermatid which is formed here will undergo spermiogenesis and this spermatid will now become mature and motile and sperms are formed. So these are the two main stages of spermatogenesis, formation of spermatid, spermiogenesis. We will be explaining in detail these to uh, topics in our next video. Here we have two pointers. One, it takes 74 days for this complete process to take place. Second, the test is the descend out, descend out of abdomen during during seventh week of embryonic seventh during the seventh month sorry month of embryonic development and during this seventh month the test is the descend out of the abdomen otherwise they are present inside the male's body why do they descend out to maintain the lower temperature of the testes for formation of sperms how much lower is it it's two centigrade lower than the body's temperature which is a optimum temperature for the formation of sperms and this whole process which i've written here also takes place in in seminiferous tubules of the testis so this is all about spermatogenesis we have discussed the seasonal breeders extra abdominal intra abdominal organisms we have discussed about the phases of spermatogenesis in our next video we will be in detail talking about formation of spermatids and the process of spermiogenesis so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you